Extra vascular tissues as a decellularized vascular scaffold is used to preserve the essential extracellular matrix components to provide a more natural growth environment for directed tissue regeneration. However, cell infiltration to these scaffolds are limited to the scaffold periphery because subcellular pore sizes pre prevents the passive cell migration into the scaffolds. Also, this results with nutrient deprivation to the areas most distant to the fresh cell culture media. The aim of these investigations is to uh, create a modulated growth environment where cells can remain viable and grow in extended cell culture periods. Three bioreactors were connected in series. Two flow circuits, lumen and uplumen, with respect to medium reservoirs and rotary pumps. Decellularized ex vivo tissue samples were seeded with myofarboblasts and cultured for a period of four weeks. Three different culture conditions using single, one nutrient source or dual perfusion bioreactor systems, two nutrient sources, were designed to assess the effect of pressure and nutrient gradients under either low pressure or high relative pressure conditions. Construct culture under dual perfusion at relative pressure displayed higher concentration of cells located in the mid to outer layers of the scaffold adjacent to the seated surface. Conversely, the low pressure single perfusion circuit created a more aggressive nutrient gradient due to media perfuse through the lumen only and the reduced transmural flow relative to the higher pressure systems. Single perfusion circuits at high pressure displayed significantly higher outer zone tensile strength relative to all other seated conditions. These investigations illustrate the influence of direct nutrient gradients where precisely controlled perfusion conditions significantly affect cell migration, distribution, and function, resulting in pronounced effects on construct mechanics during early remodeling events.